I think we have to go back a little bit. Uh, you saw that last year the deficit was 9.4% of GDP. That's where it ended. And thanks to the ASEMPA budget, we've gone back on the path of fiscal consolidation to bring back the deficit this year to 6.5% of GDP. Now, in doing so, you are going to be bringing down the debt stock in, in the process. I'll also let you that know that in the last four years, between 12, 2012 and 2016, the debt stock went up from 45% of GDP to 72% of GDP. That means on average, every year, the government was adding 6.75% of GDP to the debt stock. Now, the, debt, the GDP uh, is not 80 billion, as you, maybe you misspoke, but it's closer to 200 billion this year. And we are going to end the year, we, after inheriting about 72% of GDP, we are hoping to bring it down slightly between 70 and 71% of GDP. So we are looking at how we manage the finances to bring down the debt burden. So even if you are borrowing, uh, the burden of that we are trying to bring down through the process of fiscal consolidation. And the finance minister is here. He's keeping all of us in line. Uh, what happened before with this unbridled borrowing, um, is it, um, which cannot be financed, so you find that we owe so many contractors who, who have not been paid and so on. Today, the give me system is really working. It is not possible to circumvent it. And so if there is no money, you are not going to be entering into that contract in the first place. And so this is actually helping us, uh, as you see, keep very much uh, on target as far as our deficit is concerned, for example, for the, through the first half of the year. Uh, and I think that this is also seen in the domestic money market where you have seen interest rates coming down from 22% last year and just a year later you have at 11.9%. And if you are borrowing rampantly in the domestic market, you will see that interest rate decline. So the simple answer is that uh, the debt stock uh, in terms of its impact uh, on uh, its burden on the economy is not actually increasing. The debt to GDP ratio is actually stabilizing and we are hoping to bring it down by the end of the year, even if marginally.